Okay, how's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Dave, and this is my inaugural video, uh, the first one I've, I'm putting up. And I decided to do to the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition uh, because it's a great game. I actually played it uh, back on the Xbox 360 and loved it. And I thought, hey, love the series. I don't have an Xbox One right now, so I can't play the brand new Tomb Raider. So I thought this would be the next best thing. So that's why I chose it for the very first series uh, on the new channel, uh, Idle Hands. And uh, I hope you like it. And uh, all right, so let's buckle up, Buttercup. It's game time. Almost. <laughs> it's almost game time. Hmm. Don't fault me, but uh, I, I, I'm gonna go easy. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us In it. Yeah, such a good opening sequence. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what we do here. Help! Jonah! Ryan! Help! 
got to get down. <sighs> Seriously? Okay. Just... Had me worried there. Can't fail on the first quick time. Yeah, I just remember when I played through this the first time. Oh, God. Oh. Just how messed up she would get. She fell so many times. Oh. What is this place? Don't sorry for it. What happened to you? Oh, the torture. Let's just take a look around. Man, this looks so good. That was just to teach us how to burn stuff with the torch. So, as you'll come to find out, uh, I am definitely not a completist. So, I don't know if, uh, you know, for all those out there that are, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be getting, like, every single little thing. I know I've got friends that are completists, and... Uh, you know, to each the room. <laughs> and I'm definitely not one of those type of people. Uh, so please don't get too aggravated if you're like, oh my gosh, he's not grabbing every single little collectible. So it's not going to happen. But if I see something, I'll grab it. If I don't, uh, pretty much not going to worry about it. All right, so I guess this is... I just keep on doing this. I don't remember it doing this. Um, stopping like this before. It's pretty nice. All right. Let's go. <laughs> this game looks so good. Ah, oh, it's crazy how good it looks. All right, next jump.
close. Oh shit, that was close. Just keep moving. They wrap them on <laughs> okay. Was not expecting that quick time event. <laughs> oh, quick time. Gets you every every time. No big deal. Stuff. 
it's for the resume screen. I'm not, <laughs> not sure why they keep popping this up. <clears throat> All right, let's resume. Pretty cool. <laughs> I might have to be using that feature. Okay. Uh, what if I say close? Close. Oh. Very good. <laughs> all right. I don't know if I'm going to use that all the time because that might get kind of annoying. <laughs> okay. Take it slow. tell you how much I hate stuff like this. Oh boy. And it's gonna be flipped on. I might have to turn that feature off. Okay, here we go. It was raining, and now she's all clean. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, thank you for thank you for pausing the game. That's great. Sam, Roth, can anyone hear me? There's anything to 
collect just yet. I mean, other than the, the stuff we just collected. Is anyone listening? Please respond. No pressure, Laura. No pressure. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? But it's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously Enough. cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. 
Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? I've got to find something to eat. 